something powerful has happened to them and they are coming back to you. I want you to get what actually happens. You know, that's why they say more and more that the more you live the more experience you gain because you never stop learning. You never get stop seeing new things. The Lord Jesus has shown an example of the leprosy we were healed. And along the way, some, they, 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 they saw that they are healed and they went back and some, they never went back to thank the Lord. And I want to tell you something. There are a lot of things that are going to happen and you will think like, oh my God, like, what happened? Like, I don't see any difference. And there are things which even personally I have been seeing in my life, which when I would do, I would feel like I would take it for granted. I would feel like it's not working. There is no change. And then as time goes by, I begin to realize that, wait a minute, there was something that happened. It was not in vain. Actually, the thing that I did, it is working. It has worked. It worked in my favor. It was not in vain. And I want to tell you likewise, it is also the same thing that I'm also now sitting back. If you can ask me a question, ever since I began focusing and having some Christian growth and having some spiritual or supernatural power through Christ Jesus. Honestly speaking, in the beginning of my journey, uh, the manner in which I would pray, and now I can see that that was a, one of the most powerful ways I would be praying, studying the Bible and all. That commitment was not easy. That commitment was never simple. As much as I've learned, as much as now I don't need to study the Bible as such anymore, but then again, I can still see if I can still adopt those ways and do them even right now. That is something powerful. But at the time, because I was still young, at the time, because I was watching too much TV and making so much comparisons and I did not know much, I took it light. I felt like, okay, if I am able to fast for 40 days, uh, come on, uh, I am supposed to now walk and people be falling, people feeling my presence before I arrive. That is how I would measure up if my fasting worked or not. You got what I'm saying? Ignoring the differences that I would begin to see after that fasting. And it's only now when I realized that actually that was powerful. Sometimes the comparisons that you were making from such people you were following, some of them, whatever they were telling you, Maybe some, they were lying. And some, maybe what they were telling you, it just needed time for God to put you there. It's all because it only happens when you have a task. For example, I got to realize that some things come on, like God would not give me a, a, a prophetic gift uh, at a place where I'm ministering to repeated, repeatedly for people. Even if I can prophesy today to them, what about tomorrow's service and the same people? What else was I going to tell them? So there was no need for that gift. You get what I'm saying? But then again, I got to see that when the time is right, I will see the manifestation of that gift, the manifestation and the power of that prayer. I remember praying for my brother one night and he was so shocked because he got healed instantly. He was screaming in the middle of the night. I laid my hands in less than a minute. He went quiet and that was it. And in the morning, he told me, wow, so your prayers thing is paying off. Let me tell you, they're going to come back to you like those leprosies who went back to Jesus to thank him. In their way, they're going to see whatever effort you might have put in your life today, yesterday, all the plantations, all the seed you sow. Listen. I'm here to give you the good news. You're going to harvest. You're going to reap. Some of the benefits you're going to see, though you had almost forgotten about. Let me tell you, they're going to come back to you. Nothing good you have done shall be in vain. They shall remember. They shall regret for ever putting you aside, of ever rejecting you, for ever putting your application aside. Every good work you have done. In Jesus' name, may they begin, may your good works begin to speak for you. May power be released. May every prayer you have made come to your defense today. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be released unto your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
And of course, you can also book an appointment with me. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.